All right, hello guys. Today we're gonna to be talking about Tropical Depression 11, which is just offshore of the coast of Texas in the Gulf. This one's gonna bring a lot of rain. The wind might not be that big of a deal, but trust me, the rain is gonna be very, very, very potent. And for how dry things have been, it's gonna be just extra devastating. So we're gonna talk a lot about the rainfall totals and all sorts of other things that you would probably find useful if you do live in Louisiana or Texas. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to check out the links in our description for our social medias, and also check out the link in the pinned comment for our Instagram, which we post a lot of uh, exclusive comment or content on. So that's a really cool page there that you can check out. Now, we're looking at where our low-pressure system is located, and you can see it's just offshore of Texas. It's so close. You're probably, if you're on the immediate coast, you're probably already feeling effects as far as rainfall and things like that. Now this looks to head almost, it looks to almost head northwest straight into Texas and then back up into towards Oklahoma and Dallas. It's going to be dropping a far less rain by that point. The most rainfall is going to fall somewhere right around where it's making landfall and to the north and east of that location, but it's heading almost directly north actually. So it's going to impact areas like Houston quite a bit, even though it's just offshore of of towns like, uh, I think Corpus Christi is right there. So it is, you know, in that whole vicinity, but it's heading about due north right now. Now here's your cone of uncertainty. You can see it is going to maybe reach tropical storm status very soon, even though it's just a tropical depression. So it is a very strong tropical depression at this point. Uh, you can see here sometime in between 12 p.m. today and 7 a.m. tomorrow, it might initially make... Uh, be in a tropical storm status, but really it's going to stay depression for the most part and then go post tropical by Thursday as it approaches again, Dallas and, o and Oklahoma areas like that, where it'll be dropping far less rain by that point. Now here's your spaghetti models just to kind of give you more of a long range outlook on what we're looking at here. The little numbers you can see there, that's actually your hours, how many hours out. So that's really useful. 48 hours is obviously two days, 72, three days. So, I mean, really, it is it is useful to be able to see these hours and know when it is looking to arrive at certain locations. But you can see they are pretty certain that it's going to be heading, heading directly north and then towards Dallas and towards Oklahoma for the most part. Now, we're going to be looking at our future cast radar here and... We're going to take a look at this so that we can see what kind of precipitation you can expect. We're starting things off. This is today, like basically right now. According to the NAM 3KM, and you can see we have a lot of those thunderstorms going on. Houston is getting some of those right now, actually. Some of those heavier thunderstorms. So you're just only seeing the beginning, and there's going to be a lot of rain with this one. We're going to move on to 18Z today so it's just a few hours and that's going to be by this early evening and you can see a lot of that rain is moving further on shore for the coastal regions of texas now moving one again moving on one you can see this is 6z wednesday which is going to be the middle of the night tonight you can see we still have some of those heavier thunderstorms right along the coast as well as into houston the low pressure system will be on shore by this point though bringing heavier rain further and further on shore now. I did want to mention that before this video is over, I will be showing this, the rainfall totals so that you can see how much all these areas are expecting to get as far as rainfall is concerned. So that's going to be the biggest concern with this one is flooding rains, especially with having a lack of rain in the past few months from what I've heard and what I've seen. So <clears throat> we're going to have to watch and see how much rain a lot of these areas get. Now, moving on to 18Z tomorrow, which is going to be tomorrow, late afternoon, early evening time frame, you can see it does kind of click a little bit further east and heads a little bit towards Louisiana. Now, the thing is, I did title this video and it is focused on Texas, but Louisiana also could get a lot of precipitation with this one. They're looking to also, you know, not dodge the heavier rain, especially the western regions of Louisiana could still get some of those flooding rains. And you see with all these little red specks of just little thunderstorms, you never know which areas will get flooding rains and which ones won't. But the areas that the low pressure system goes right over will most likely get flooding rains no matter what. Now, moving on, another click here. You can see this is 6Z tomorrow night. So this is going to end up being the middle of the night tomorrow night. And you can see the heavier rain heads back towards Houston once again 
and we end up getting this really, really heavy band really close to the coast there, and it's also heading towards Louisiana, like I said, but really that eastern region of Texas that's really close to Louisiana looks to have the heaviest amount of rain right now, which is just uh, absolutely insane amounts considering it's already been raining a whole day by this point at very heavy rates. Moving on to 18Z Thursday, you can see it kind of breaks up a little bit. We still have a lot of scattered thunderstorms along the coast and then heavier showers as you move further north and inland into Texas. So, I mean, the heavier rain is sticking around for quite a while on these models. This is 18Z Thursday once again. And then by 0Z Friday, you can see there's just scattered thunderstorms all over the place in, in Texas. So we are dealing with a lot of rain for a lot of places in Texas. It's not going to be quite as consistent amount of precipitation as it heads further north. But for the most part, we are going to see quite a bit of rain for at least the west, the eastern and southern regions of Texas. Now, according to that 3KM model, here is what we're looking at as far as rainfall. A ton to go over here. Now, in these green colors, we're looking at anywhere from 0.01 inches of rain to 0.5 inches of rain within those green colors. The blues is 0.5 to 2 inches of rain, and that's a very thin layer there as it quickly moves over to pink, which is 2 to 6 inches of rain. Reds is 6 to 9 inches of rain. And then yellow in, is, I mean, that orangish color is in gold is like 9 to 12 inches. And yellow is anything over 12 inches of rain. So this is just going to be an astronomical amount of rain falling uh, over these coastal regions of Texas. And you can't guarantee that it's only going to be these areas. So if you're looking to get any rainfall, obviously be on the lookout because everybody's pretty much at risk of getting heavy rainfall. Again, all it takes is a couple of those, you know, really potent little thunderstorms that are associated with this to hit your area, and all of a sudden you're seeing a lot of flooding, and it's really hard to forecast where those are going to hit. So really, I want most areas to really pay attention if you're in eastern Texas or if you're in western Louisiana, but for the most part, the very coastal regions of Texas there close to the Louisiana border looks to be the most at risk here. Now, here's your GFS, and it's a little bit less rain, but still just a ton. Again, same thing. Green is 0.01 inches to, five, to 0.5 inches, 0.5 to 2 in the blue, and then 2 to 6 in the purple and pinks, and then 6 to 12 in the reds and oranges. And we don't really get into the yellow on this one, so really we're looking at a general 8 to 12 inches of rain within some of the very, very heavy regions. But we are seeing two models call for these very, very heavy rains here. So it is something we need to pay very, very, very close attention to. Flooding, kind of, people let it let it go. They're like, uh, oh, it's just flooding. It's going to be fine. But, I mean, flooding is some of the most dangerous, is one of the most dangerous things that can happen with weather. We've seen footage recently, like, I, I know a lot of you probably haven't, but a lot of us weather people do pay attention to weather around the world. And, I mean, S Spain basically just got a giant thunderstorm, and there was just astronomical flooding for some localized areas in Spain, and they didn't even really see it coming. And I mean, cars were flowing down the street, the streets turned into rivers. So it just goes to show that flooding can be just as devastating as tornadoes and other sorts of natural disasters. So they do need to be taken very, very seriously. Now, last but not least, here's your warnings and watches. Now in the green, the dark green, we do have a flood watch within these regions for Houston, Galveston, and just to the east of Victoria there. You can see we do have a few counties under that flood watch. And then in the light green there for, uh, is it Baymont or Balmont, Balmont or something, uh, Lake Charles is right in there too. But those light greens is a, is a flood warning. So those areas we know that we're going to have some flooding issues. They don't look to get the heaviest amounts of rain so far, but maybe it has something to do with elevation and just them being prone to flooding. That's probably what it is, but I'm not too familiar with the geography of that area. I know that it's all pretty low, but it must be that the areas under the warning are a little bit more prone to flooding than Houston and Galveston are. Nevertheless, all of these areas are going to get a ton of rain. You know, even Bryan, even Austin, even Victoria, Lufkin, Waco, all of these areas are going to get a lot of rain from this system. So you have to be paying very close attention. Again, Flooding is just as dangerous as a lot of other natural disasters, and you should not be taking it too lightly. Always pay attention to your warnings and watches, and just be prepared for the worst, and be prepared for uh, very devastating flooding. 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Stay safe during this tropical depression, guys, in Texas. And I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully. Have a great day, guys, and stay safe.